Hey Brainiacs, ever wonder what is the longest a person can be dead, but are still able to be revived? We're not talking zombies or any other supernatural reanimation. Sorry, Herbert West. Looks like your serum won't fly here. We mean real-life instances of people who have technically kicked the bucket, then come back. We are going to find out the science behind someone dying, then sort of, uh, undying. Being dead is actually a little more complicated than you might think. Is it when your heart stops? But chest compressions or defibrillator can restart your heart. Well, what about when you stop breathing? No, mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation can fix that too. So, technically, you aren't dead until someone declares you dead. And this has changed over time quite a bit as technology has advanced. Some of the earliest tests for someone kicking the bucket were rather simple. Check the pulse, feel for breathing, hold something like a mirror up in front of their nose to check for any condensation, and finally, look to see if the pupils are fixed. But these checks just weren't good enough. It wasn't until the 1960s that Harvard medical students said, enough is enough. We have to define when someone is dead. And they specifically named it when brain death occurs. See, brain death is the real kicker when it comes to being a goner. This is a very rapid process, and it will happen about four to six minutes after the heart stops pumping and the brain stops receiving oxygen from your blood. The Harvard students defined brain death as unreceptivity and unresponsitivity, no movements or breathing, no reflexes, and a flat electroencephalogram, which is a test that senses brain activity. But that isn't the end-all be-all. In fact, it's not unheard of for some strange and seemingly supernatural revivals to take place. What really throws people's assessment of the deceased is hypothermia. This is a condition where the body drops below 28 degrees Celsius. Ooh, that's cold. This sends the body into a sort of hibernation state, and all the standard checks for someone having kicked the bucket can be thrown out of whack. Take 91-year-old Janina Kokowicz who was declared dead by her family in 2014 and was moved to the local mortuary's cold storage in Poland. Apparently, later that night, staff at the mortuary saw her wriggling around in her bag and ran over to let her out. Thankfully, Janina turned out fine, after she warmed up, of course. But hypothermia is only one condition that can mimic death. In fact, too much alcohol will start to shut your body down as was the case for 25-year-old Camille, who woke up in a mortuary refrigerator after a night of heavy drinking. He had suffered cardiac arrest the night before, but again, staff at the mortuary heard sounds coming from the cool box. Camille's body had slowly revived during the night, and miraculously, he was okay. And according to his friends and family, he went right back to the pub the next day. Hold on to your zombie fighting gear for this next one. In 2012, the infamous Zombie Gran rose from the dead. Reports say that a 94-year-old woman in China was found lifeless in a bed about two weeks after she suffered a head injury in a fall. Her friend found her, and after trying all she could, determined that she must have died in her sleep due to complications from the fall. Local custom dictated that she be placed in a coffin without the lid nailed on, so friends and family could pay their respects. The day before the funeral, six days after her friend found her in bed, her coffin was empty. And there was Zombie Gran cooking in the kitchen. She was quoted as saying, I slept for a long time. After waking up, I felt so hungry and wanted to cook something to eat. But let's go to the record books. What's the longest someone has been, by all accounts, dead and come back? We're going to Spain, where Audrey Schumann suffered the longest cardiac arrest doctors had ever seen. She was hiking with her husband when she went into cardiac arrest while also suffering hypothermia. Her husband noticed that she was starting to have trouble speaking, then watched her collapse after she experienced cardiac arrest. They waited two hours for emergency personnel to arrive, and her body was dropped to a frigid 18 degrees Celsius. Turns out, this very well was the thing that saved her life. The hypothermia protected her body from deteriorating. Once she was in a hospital, they slowly started to warm her body up, and when it reached 30 degrees Celsius, they used a defibrillator to jumpstart her heart and it worked. This was a full six hours after she had suffered cardiac arrest. Audrey was fine and only suffered some numbness in her hands and some mobility issues. We say, that ain't too bad for being dead for six hours. Well, there you have it. The truth that death may not be the end all be all. As long as your brain is still active, there is a chance you could come back. This is exactly why learning CPR is so important. You really can save someone's life.
And as for the strange and seemingly supernatural occurrences we talked about, all we can say is we have no idea. But the human body sure is resilient.